live there we are welcome Woo. to 90 miles from comics as always i am your host and with me i got my brother from another mother he is the captain of the funk ship troopers el capitan javi air what's going on javi what's up man i should get my guitar out with that intro <laughs> yeah you should tread hard <laughs> I should do it one day just for, for the intro for 90 of the comics. It's going to yeah. happen. And I should probably pull out the bass too, right? Would you just give the people a little a little dab at what me <laughs> not best outside of read comics, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now whip out the spoons. There you go. There you go. And now, no further ado, who needs no introduction? Our brother D. Hyde. What is going on, Hyde? Yo, not a whole lot, man. Just chilling. It's a Wednesday. Been sick. Been fighting it. I'm strong. Push. You know. Believe. I hope you get better. Oh, I'm, I'm yeah, already I'm feeling yeah. better, man. Oh, I'm already on the way up. I'm already on the recovery climb. On the way up. Yesterday was the worst of it. Now it's all sunshine and daisies from here on out. No, for sure. And as the incredible people start trickling their way into the chat as they already know youtube is 90 and y290 in the building i can't wait to be on the hunt this friday as you guys know as i'm defending my hunt championship and you best believe baby i'm retaining that's what i do it's just i'm the champ i can't wait to be showing you guys what i picked up over the last two weeks i've picked up some fire and i cannot wait to show you guys but this Friday on Tony Sanders, The Hunt. As that's being said, I'm going to shout out the beautiful people joining us real quickly in the chat. We got Big the Snake. And he goes, now, you, bro, and broing is half the battle. Yo, bro. Now, we also have Mr. Boatwright. Thank you, Boatwright, for joining. Jim, that guy did an incredible piece for comic hit 84 you should definitely go check that out man we also have mr steve whiting in the building what is going on steve what's up steve I know steve is actually out of town working so safe travels on your way home brother and my other brother and actually man thorough we need to hook up very soon man like we need to somehow get a show on your channel my channel we need to make that happen brother because you are definitely one of my favorites to watch, and you've been a big supporter of my channel, bro, so we got to link up, man. Let's make that happen. But thank all of you guys for joining us. As you guys know, we are here to talk comics because that is what we do best. I think we're all going to talk about one book that we read from last week. Does anyone want to go first? Uh, I can kick it off. All right, Javi. Yeah. Go ahead yeah. And kick it off, my brother. I just want to say I was uh, watching White Whales. I was watching their or why the last man little review that they do and and he was pretty he was pretty pumped for for the hunt on friday too so you know i'm, I'm actually you know part of that panel is just unfortunately monday was not a good night for me because of work the next day i had to work at 5 a.m so it was just one of those nights i was like ah, it, was, it was guys. funny i it was so. funny i was watching it and they were like yeah this whole show is just a big old plug for for the hunt <laughs> <laughs> that's too funny yeah uh, i believe comic 84 he was giving me a little insight on that too but he, you know he definitely let me know he was holding down his boy so you know i appreciate that macho head my brother i'm sure eventually we'll see him trickle into the chat he always managed his way in here but thank you guys once again for joining us in the chat and javi what book are you going to talk about to us today so i picked up uh batman the last night know. on earth i got that this safe is, cover too yeah this is the jock right yeah yeah i got the normal dumb dumb cover no nah, it's a nice cover it is but it's normal and it's, it's just i want to be cool with you guys that's all <laughs> um this book was cool man uh, i didn't know how to feel about it at first and then i was just like i put it down and then I picked it back up and then I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to read this whole thing through and then just see what happens. And it was it was interesting. The transitions were kind of were kind of cool where you didn't have to worry too much about what happened in the last story. 
it'll, it's it's just very kind of well written and very well drawn where you can just flow right through it and it's 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 super cool what um what scott snyder's doing this is some like some I, i'm i'm really big into like multiverse and i guess this is some like alternate you know black label version of batman but i don't want to spoil too much just read it it's a it's a nice thick book you get a nice story from it um some you know marvel did the this whole thing where they were introducing kind of new versions of older heroes you get some of this in scott snyder's run um of, of batman right now you have like a like an older version of wonder of wonder woman um you know i'll just kind of tease this right here badass yeah, and I agree with you, Javi. At first, I, I was on the same boat. I wasn't sure how I felt about the book, but once I read it, I actually read it twice to kind of, you know, make sure I took it in, in a sense. And, yeah, I actually, I did I did like it. I, I like this different take on Batman, so to speak, that Snyder and Capullo are kind of doing. And to answer Bake the Snake's question, how's the art? Phenomenal, man. Oh, I think awesome. Capullo is just one of the best in the industry. And what, mm -hmm. it, it definitely shows off in this book. I mean, uh, Javi, and this is no spoiler for the story, but you, Javi, you might recall, do you remember, or even you, Hyde, that panel with the fly? Mm -hmm. There's yeah. just one right panel the with the fly. And I'm just like, bro, just the detail yeah. of that fly, man. I was like, yo, that is like awesome. So no, the art is phenomenal. And I actually really dug the story. I think it's a cool take, you know, on batman and what they're doing and it's kind of cool to see capullo and snyder again and yeah you know, i have hopped off the tom king batman and i've been getting my batman fixed through detective so it's kind of nice to have like another batman title back on the list i'm definitely going to add this one to my pull as well man i dug it yeah. as well i really um, liked it a whole lot and, and like it had elements of it that it'd be like how oh, this could be obnoxious and just not like it but it works no, out no, no. like the joker head thing it's like oh no this is funny this yeah. is good so one one thing that i look out for when i when i read scott snyder is like okay what is he gonna like what horror is he gonna throw in there because that's i feel like that's what he likes to write the most yeah. or the mo or the or like for me that's where he shines the most oh yeah like his american vampire stuff was awesome. and this is like right on the money like this is right up there with that like wow you know the green lantern like the whole mogo thing oh yeah <laughs> um the whole joker the whole joker head thing like you said yeah um yeah like check this art out and yeah that's a yeah that's a good just it's beautiful god damn Yeah, that, yeah. It, very comic booky, like as you know, we like to say that we like to use that term. It's very comic booky. You know, uh, some some cool concepts. You know, the the speed force storms that are going on. And I believe uh, there was a first appearance in this book too, if I'm not mistaken. No. Uh, there might be. Um, there could be easily. I mean, there easily could be with all the with all the new heroes right at the end. You know, the last story, and how they're all in this like old universe yeah shit i don't have to reread it but you might be right I no. think about that. good stuff i would definitely add it to your list if you don't have it on there already no, i picked this run. up yeah i picked this up over the leviathan run i don't know how i don't know if you read the leviathan book but i'm super glad i picked this up Oh yeah, between the two, that's probably a good choice because that's the, the Leviathan book is like a precursor to an event. Like, so it's kind of useless, but it's good. <laughs> but it's kind of useless. And that's Batman number one, the last, uh, the last night on Earth. Sweet. If you had to rate it, Javi, on our rating scale, what do you give it? I just regular old super size. Regular old super size? Yeah. All right. I dig it. Not, I dig not it. to downplay it, but. I hear you. 
All right. Well, my boy Biggie Shack's in the in the building, so I got to strap up real quick. What is up, Biggie Shack? Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for joining us. We also got my brother Hiley, a comic bro. We also got Frank the Tank. Thank you guys. You guys right. are for joining us. If you can, hit that like button for us so you can spread us around in the YouTube ether. And Hyde, what you read last week, man? Well, last week I read a good amount of things, but one thing that pops up in the mind is Heroes in Crisis. <laughs> By Tom oh, King, the oh. Clay Man. And yeah, I gotta say, uh, again, like I know it's a, it's very divided. Nobody reads it and it's like, yeah, it's okay. Like, everybody either really likes it or really, really hates it. And uh, I'm on the likes it. Like, it's not the best thing in the world, but for what it is, being a superhero book, uh, pretty much going into depression and uh, postpartum, and not postpartum. Post-traumatic stress disorder. Postpartum. Not postpartum. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't explore that, not that I noticed. But yeah. So post-traumatic stress disorder and just all sorts of depression and anxiety things, but in superheroes and having them ex like explain what they have to go through. And it's done in a way that doesn't seem too hokey or cheesy, like not too obvious. They choose really good things. Like, I wish... This thing's just been coming out over the last nine months, so it's hard to remember every detail, and especially because they've crammed in a lot of different, like, heroes and stuff in there, where they're at. And in this issue, actually, there is a good thing that kind of demonstrates it. They show the little sanctuary videos where the superheroes have been confessing, and not confessing, but pretty much talking about and going through therapy in, like, something made up by Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman called the sanctuary it's like some ai therapy thing for superheroes it's very strange i love it that's a good idea so <laughs> yeah they have like the old robins talking and one's like uh, they're just all pretty much saying things like oh you know uh dick's the cool funny one uh tim's the brooding one and damien's like the small little obnoxious one what am i and it has all the robins pretty much echoing the same sentiments, but saying, what am I? Like, who am I? They don't know. And you get little things like that in there. And that, you know, that's neat. And he did a good job with that. And the whole thing, the whole through line with Wally West that, you know, if you do, it, it's a whole complicated thing. And that's pretty much the mystery of this book. It, it, it's insane. It, it's a crazy thing. A lot of people aren't going to like it because this character is pretty close to everybody's heart, to the certain yeah. people's hearts who hate it. But and a lot of the community has already backlashed on that. Yeah, so. but you know, people have mental breaks. I mean, that's fine. I, nobody should be immune to that. Not even fake characters in the thing, but they have mental breaks. And I don't know. It's fine. I like it. Hey, that's all. It's that's what it's about, yeah. man. You, and you the can't... series was fun throughout the thing. Like there's a bunch of issues that were just really good. Like separate yeah. of the storyline, there was really some some issues that you were like really hooked. Yeah, and it had nothing to do with the main storyline. It was just like somebody's side story, their sanctuary story and stuff, and that was good. And those were solid issues. But the through line, it's fine. I liked it. I don't. I don't. It's comic books. Characters get put through fucking everything all the time, and then start out at zero in a couple years and. It, it will all be fine. Yeah. So that, that, I, I can't get worried about that shit. And it's good. I like it. For sure, man. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you, Hyde. And thank you for, man, just more people keep coming in the chat, man. Some yeah. more <laughs> awesome people, man. We got Joe Ryan Comics. What's up, Uncle Joe? That's my guy right there. Make sure if you have not checked out his channel yet, you go sub him up. He has got great content coming to you every day. Thank you for Hopping in, Joe. We also have Comic Ace in the building. What's going on, Comic Ace? And what's awesome is most of these guys in the chat, they're already all subbed up to each other. So you know why I'm saying that. Because this community is incredible. So thank you guys for joining us tonight. So uh, Javi rated his book on our rating scale. Hyde, how would you rate oh, your yeah. book on our rating scale? Yeah. A uh, value meal with a bunch of extra accoutrement like shakes and sundaes and a pie. <laughs> like really, 
as high up there as you could get without being super sexy. Because it's I love it. But it's not <laughs> fucking perfect. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? I'm like, you know what book we're gonna talk about next? This book is like super sized with McFlurry, and I'm probably leaving with like a Sunday and some apple pies because this just might be the best thing happening right now in comics, and that's Immortal Hulk 18. And yeah. this was probably by far my favorite read from last week. That first of all, just all the covers are incredible, and then just I don't know if it's me, but to me, I feel like this this story just gets better and better. It just continues to get better. And I know Hyde, you're super high on this book as well. This oh, is one yeah. of your favorite reads. And I don't know if you feel the same way about this, but this book is just so damn good. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to reveal too much in this, but as I mentioned last week, they kind of teased bringing back one of you know Hulk's oldest foes. And sure enough, he's back. They go toe to toe. You need to see those panels for yourself. But the big reveal on who it actually is, is just psh, money in the bank. What's funny is, is I called it. And if you guys do not believe me, Jeffrey Comic-Con Henson, me and him talk all the time off air, and especially about Hulk, and he could not believe that I called that part of the book. He actually texted me after he read it. He's like, dude, you called that. I'm like, yeah, I know. So just great read. I would definitely recommend to go get your hands on this. If you guys have not read this, most of you guys in the community have a uh, trade paperback, get it digitally. However, I don't care, man. Just go read this Just book, get bro. it. It's so good. It really is so good. And I agree with you, Comic Ace. Venom and Immortal Hulk right now are my two favorite reads, without a doubt. I uh, cannot wait for Donny Cates to get back onto Venom. And because that is leading, and I actually picked this up today. I picked up the Marvel's preview because it actually has the first four issues of Absolute Carnage in it. So I did read that as well when I got home. So it's a little preview on that. And as you guys know, specking on this book if you guys don't know you want to go get this carnage mind bomb because this is that first appearance of carnage getting the null codex and fusing with it so that's going to be this thing right here bro that's when people are, are going to realize that that's what this thing is right here so make sure you get that mind bomb but yeah agreed immortal hulk venom my two favorite reads super sizing this bad boy with a mcflurry apple pie and probably, gosh, a six-piece nugget. How about that? <laughs> you know, we're going ham on this one. And what's up, Caleb? The comic Smurf Murphy. Yeah. And no, Colin Bun is killing the you know the War of the Realms part of Venom. I agree. I'm still reading it. I think it's cool. Is what he's done with the symbiote. Well, oh, what he's done with Brock without the symbiote, and how he's kind of given given him something like it. I, I do think it's cool, but I can't wait for Donnie to get back just so we can get closer to absolute carnage because that's going to be my ish. So super excited about that. Now, do you guys have any like honorable mentions from anything you've read? It could be old, new from last week. I got one I want to mention. Yeah, I you got. Well, I got a couple. And I did see Boatwright mention this. And you, if you want to hear what I think about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 94. Stay tuned tomorrow because we will have review and a half show right here. Turtle Talk Thursdays. Me, Edwin the Comics Jabroni, C. Woodard, Hoodot Comics. And even if no one can make it tomorrow, I'll just go live by myself and talk about this book tomorrow. So check out what I think about this tomorrow. But my honorable mention from last week is going to be Carnage Mind Bomb. I did read this book. And can I just say, I enjoyed every single panel of this i thought it was awesome it's super sick and just shows you why carnage is a psychopath and it's super cool man so if you guys have not read this i would recommend to go read it maybe i should do a review on it later but that's my honorable mention from last week what about you Hyde? um yeah i got one that i didn't realize came out when i got it but you just never know when it's gonna come out doomsday clock Oh yeah, yeah, and I gotta say, I really like that issue. Like it's it's crazy, it's crazy that how much you can remember from a comic that's been coming out for almost two years at this point with twelve issues and it's being spaced out crazily and delayed. But it's good. 
this is a really crazy issue that surrounds the Nathaniel Dusk and really the linchpin of what Mr. Dr. Blue has been doing. Uh, and if you don't know who Mr. Dr. Blue is, that's Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, he's running around, and apparently Nathaniel Dusk is one of the big linchpins in whatever the fuck this blue bastard has been doing. And it's been pretty great. I don't know. I, I love this issue. Sweet. What about you, Javi? Um, Thanos. The Thanos book was really good. Fantastic Four was, was, was pretty good. It was War of the War of the Worlds tie-in. Um, but, yeah. All right. oh, yeah I, read... I, read that, I read that Hellboy... Yeah, Hellboy uh, versus versus uh, Johnson. I forget his name. Officer Johnson. That was that was pretty cool. That was fun. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. All right, sweet. Lobster, Lobster Johnson. To go check that out. Yo, what well, shout out to the boy who had seven? What's going on, man? Thanks for joining us. All right, so now it's gonna bring us to like our one of the newest things I'm starting to do on our show. I'm gonna talk a little spec, and then. I, we'll shoot over to Javi, talk oh, some variant covers that are coming out, coming your way. We're going to get you guys on the up and up so you guys know what to be looking out for at your LCSs on the variants. But this week, my little spec is going to be – it's actually going to be some Hulk spec right now. As we all know, been a little hot on Hulk. And actually, one of the books I'm going to show, the first book, it's already started to heat up. Before it gets even hotter, I would tell you, go get your Incredible Hulk's 449 first appearance of Thunderbolts because the show is happening, right? Or a movie. It's already set in stone. That is happening. So you want to make sure you go get this because it's already, you know, this was going for anywhere, I would say, probably about 30 to 40 bucks. And now you're starting to see him go 50, 60. It's starting to slowly rise. But definitely, if you have not, Add this to your collection if you're like a spec person. I would tell you get on Thunderbolts because this is a team the Marvel Universe, one way or another, is putting together. It has been confirmed without a doubt. So make sure you go check this out. And I will tell you the next book that I would put on your spec radar, and it could do with that because it could possibly lead into something like that happening uh, with this character. And I also I would tell you to put this on your spec deck in a sense, for what's happening with Immortal Hulk because there's no there's no way they're not bringing this guy back because they teased, or at least to me, that's what it felt like to me, a funeral of somebody, if you know who I'm talking about, Hyde. Uh, they were at a certain person's funeral, and it has been discovered all Hulks are immortal. So yeah. Samson, <laughs> Abomination... <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, like it's like they're all coming back. So I would tell you, if you have not gotten your first Red Hulk, you want to go get that because yeah. this book will rise up in price. And even if they do something, as, well, as they're doing something with Thunderbolts, you could pull in Red Hulk to be part of that team. Like, why not? They did it in the comics. So, and it's and it's Ross. It is Ross. It's Ross's team. So. Who knows what will happen with this? I would tell you, you want to go get on this. This is Hulk issue number one. Get on it. Uh, I will say, I picked up this variant, which is just incredible, of issue two. And this issue two is actually the first appearance of A-Bomb. So that's also, a, you know, a nice book to have into the collection. So, you know, Hulk one and two, this is cover B of that run. Cover A, it's got uh, Iron Man's face on it. But this is just an incredible cover that I had to pick up. Like, come on, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. So, but yeah, that would be my spec of this week is Incredible Hulk 449. Let me grab that once again. Incredible Hulk 449. First appearance of Thunderbolts. Nice. And I'm super jealous that you got the 1 in 50 variant. Ace, I did pick up a that book today too, but I picked up the, I guess the regular variant, and then Hulk issue one, which is the first appearance of Red Hulk, and then issue two, first appearance of A Bomb. This is just the variant cover. This cover is probably heating up in price because you know, or if it start if this book starts to go higher in price, this book will go higher because it's you know just look at that cover, you know, so. I, that was just something I noticed about this book when this book did 
get some heat a few weeks back, and then this book was picking up some heat just because of the cover. And then for you guys that don't know, the second print of Hulk issue number one, you can be on the lookout for that too. It's just a second printing of this book right here. So that is my spec of the week. Take it for what you want. And my spec from last week, like I said, was Carnage Mind Bomb. I think this is going to be, as I was mentioning earlier, definitely super linked to this. So make sure you go get your Mind Bombs if you don't have them. You need, to cop. you need to cop your Carnage now. Yeah, definitely, man. Go cop, cop, all, your cops. Now. Go cop all your Carnage now. Cop before cop. Cop. What is going on in the What's variant up? world? What's up? There's some nice variants coming out. Uh, let me just set this up real quick. But yeah, uh, here we have, we'll, we'll start with DC. And then I think in the middle over here, we got some, some indies. This right here, we got some Catwoman action. Yeah. Germ. This is Catwoman number 12. Mm. I also put up, uh, this. These, these are both art germ. This is Catwoman number 13 that's coming out. I got to throw in some art germ, you know, on the DC side of things. These are these are B covers. You can just ask your, your comic book shop, hey, let me get the B cover of a Catwoman, you know, what's up? And they'll order it for you. You can you can just get these. I'm sure in a couple years down the line, these will definitely blow up. Just the art alone is is just amazing, beautiful. Here we got some Harley Quinn action. Oh, this is, uh, yeah, this is Frank Cho. Um, not a lot of people. I mean, I, I I love Frank Cho. He's cool. People love him. This oh, is a like crazy wa um, watercolor painting. I believe it was watercolor painting. Yeah, it's different. He probably, he probably did this on a big canvas and then, you know, they, they just probably they just you know shrunk it down to comic book size but this is crazy for a yeah. comic book cover come on yeah no that's awesome yeah that's really nice and i didn't recognize that as a cho because i guess you could only recognize cho's uh drawings from like the neck down right yeah no, <laughs> this is yeah this but, is um harley quinn 63 this will be out. Um, the, the the 62 Harley Quinn 62. I didn't put it up here, but Harley Quinn 62 is uh, like a D and D cover. It's pretty cool. But this is just a B cover as well. You just ask your comic book shop, hey, put this in my pool. It'll be there waiting for you. This goodness. <laughs> it probably won't be a virgin. It'll probably have some tech stuff in here. Oh uh, yeah. I didn't think about that. That's a shame. This is uh, Deceased number three that's coming out. It's a nice little Joker cover. You know, yeah. they always come out with these. This event, I had, I, I'm not on it. I don't know if any of you guys are on it. No. Nah. But. Well, the covers have been nice, but the yeah. covers have been super nice and it's been. so tempting. But if you're looking for a cool one to pick up. Uh, you can pick this one up. I forget what website, but I'll probably put it on the link or, or on the chat or something. Let's go out. His eyes are rolling back. I believe that's it for DC. We got some vampire, vampire action. I think this already came out. Some Adam Hughes action. Uh, but these, yo, Samurai Grandpa is coming out. That looks awesome. We we have the the, the Spider Man three hundred homage variant. Um, this is this is a limited uh, limited to to certain copies. I forget how many. I want to say a thousand. It might be less. 
But I mean, it's a it's it's a it's a Spider Man three hundred homage. If if you're into all the Spider Man three hundred uh, variants, this is one to pick up. And this story, this comic alone, just looks dope. I haven't heard of that. Usagi Yo Yojimbo is coming back. Um, this is a Walking Dead variant. I forget the girl's name, but it's the girl who has the, the swords and she has the two zombies as pets. It's a nice little... That's a thick cover for sure. This guy is a badass. Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited for to see what, you know, what they're going to do with this storyline. So one of three. That's something I've always been meaning to check out, but I've never... Yeah, read a single thing. It's coming out soon. <laughs> I don't. I think this is a limited run as well. I think this might be three hundred. This might be the one thousand. This might be the three hundred. It might be reversed. Go check him out. Here we got some web of carnage that, uh, variants. I know, dude. Uh, it's absolute carnage, right? Absolute carnage. Sorry. Uh, yeah, absolute carnage. Um. They're going to come out with a bunch of these variants. But pick your favorite. These are cool. I like this Venom one. Super awesome. And here we got this Carnage one. Sick. Can I get them all? Yeah, you probably could, yeah. yeah but that's the problem. <laughs> but I'm like, what's wrong with the, the market? I'm like, oh, I want them all. <laughs> that's why we have so many variants. I'm that guy. You know, maybe, yeah, maybe, fun. you know, we'll see what happens. I, you know, you might have some coming your way. Here we got, uh, this just came out, Mortal Hulk number 18, but this was, Ooh. this was a sideways oh, variant. Hell. This Ooh. was a sideways variant that came that out. That is so awesome. Yeah, I know. It's, pre it's pretty awesome. Sick. You can still pick this up. This is a Silver Surfer Black that's coming out. I spec'd on that last week, too. Oh, and yeah. Caleb, he's absolutely right. I, it's Carnage Born, not Mind Bomb. I was just talking Mind Bomb earlier with my read, so I mixed up the two. But Carnage Born was that book I was talking about. But thank you, Caleb. He corrected me in the chat, but... That cover is beautiful as well. Uh, and here we got, oh, I already showed this off last week. This is Arrow um, that's coming out from Marvel. Uh, I, I, you know, I'll start with Art Germ. I got to end with some Art Germ. Art Germ hasn't finished his cover, but here's a little tease of it. You, you know, it's going to be sick. So yeah, these are some some nice covers that are coming out in the near future. I know, right? I like how you just like we're skimming through them one last yeah. time, people. Yeah, just to let everybody know where yeah. we came, where we started, and where we're going. You Damn know. that immoral. I clicked the wrong button. Awesome. Those are some nice, nice covers ones. that are coming out. Uh, you can definitely ask your local comic book shop for those B covers. Some of them are exclusive to to uh, some websites. Um, some of them are just limited copies. But I'll try better next time to like get the link saved and everything like that. If you guys are interested, if you guys just want uh, message me or message, if you can't reach me, message Chad and we'll try and hook you guys up. Sweet. Thank you, Javi, for showing those, those awesome variants. Thank you. And yeah, man, I guess that's going to come to our favorite part of the week. What we picked Ooh. up today. 
New comic book day, right? That's what we oh, love. Oh, new right? comic book day. Oh, oh. Yeah, so and I had that mind bomb as I was showing earlier. It was sitting right next to me. I think I was looking at it, Caleb, as he called me out. <laughs> I'm all carnaged out, man. Oh, that's going to eat you up inside, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's, no, it's going to have much love for Caleb, bro. I'm just saying, like, honestly, though, I got, like, I've been on like this carnage bin lately. Like I read Mind Bomb. I read like you know, 360, 361, 362, 363. I started reading uh, It's a Wonderful Life, and I did uh, start reading um, what a uh, web of carnage. So like, oh, well, and I just been on this carnage getting ready for this thing right here, man. So I'm just super excited for it, honestly. I should I should pull out my my old Carnage books, my 2000, you know, when they, when they did those like 12 issue minis, I have, I have some of those. I should pull them out and show them off one day. You should, you should yeah. have, cause you got some heat back there. We should just do a yeah. show. We just show off heat. <laughs> we just, you know, think of like a tournament. We could do that in. Yeah. I don't have any of like the early nineties stuff, but I got a couple things, so yeah. But. I got a hodgepodge of shit. Some stuff that I've accidentally come up on that ended up being stuff. I got some things. I would have sold up a lot of it. Oh yeah. Oh, so as I hit my keyboard with my box here. All right, fellas, who's up? Who's going first? All right. Well, um, I got five Marvel today and Indiana DC. I was I was showing DC Mad Love yesterday last week, but not this week. Yeah, just I got through. I got a couple books, yeah. uh, a couple indies. Yeah, just yeah, just go through your haul, Todd. All right. Go through it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera on you, sir. All right. I almost picked that up today, but I left it. Yeah, coming up, we got thumbs off of Image. Not sure who the creative team is, and yeah, it's a big hefty debut issue of a thing. Just decided to grab it. Again, not giving indies much love lately. It's just been all the big two, so anytime I see an issue one, I try to give it the benefit of a doubt. And let's hope this is good, because last few times I haven't been too uh, haven't been too lucky with picking up stuff by creative teams I don't know lately. Usually really good at that, but not, not this time. Not this week. And up next, this is probably one of my favorite covers to come out like in a long, long time. It's um, Green Lantern. From this oh yeah, that yeah, cover was awesome. Cover. Yeah, and it's with the uh, you know space junkie like a <laughs> callback to when uh Green Lantern and the Green Arrow walked in on Speedy shooting up some H back in the seventies. That's what this is a reference to: with some space creature using his tentacles to shoot up. It's hysterical. Like it's awesome. That's and the white background it makes it so pop and powerful, which is what. Grant Morrison's specialty is is taking old fucking images from the 60s and 70s from the silver and golden age of comics and trying to make it some kind of crazy psychedelic near mind control thing. Um, picked up this Incredible Hulk number one. Uh, Whoa, it's just nice. Yeah, and it came out. It's a Peter David thing. Like, it doesn't say the creative yeah, yeah, team. Sorry. Yeah, it's yeah. Peter David and Gail yeah, Cohen. I picked up that same cover, man. Awesome. Yeah, it was it was just in my box, but I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, I'll grab it. And it's fine. Uh, I haven't read it. Don't know what I'm gonna feel about it. It just got thrown at me, but I thought, hey, I'll give it a shot. Next, we got Cosmic Ghost Rider meets the Marvel Universe. You know, and that's Sheer doing his thing, killing it. But one of the things I'm super excited about, I forgot it came out, was Savage Avengers, because that's yeah, that's shaping up to be an amazing thing. It just needs, I, I just need to read a little more of it. It's but more I, issues. Yeah, I know. What was that? It just needs more issues. Yeah, it needs, exactly. It needs more issues so I can start saying it's one of the best things ever. But yeah, and that's such a nice cover. Mm. And the art on the interior art, so perfect. And then we got War of the Realms. Issue five, coming to the end, coming to the end. So that's been great. It's going to continue to be great. And Guardians of the Galaxy Annual. 
always good to see Crypto the Space Dog up there. Got to give him some love. I had to get rid of a variant that was in there so I could get the Crypto the Space Dog covered. <laughs> because, yeah, I'm not walking away without Crypto the Space Dog. If I could get Crypto the goddamn Space Dog, I, I ain't, I ain't, that ain't happening. It ain't happening. I ain't leaving no place without Crypto. All right, I can't remember his name now. I don't think it's that anymore. All right, Javi, what'd you pick up, dude? Uh, a lot of the same, a lot of the same Marvel stuff. Um, I did pick up Thumbs number one. It uh, piqued my interest, interest, and I wanted to show some indie love. I did pick up Category Zero. This is from Scout Comics. Never really heard of them. Just wanted to check it out. Uh, Dehyde, you didn't pick up. Forget the name of it, but uh oh, that it was like that indie book where it was it was like a the space people on the cover, and it was like super sixties on the cover, but like on the inside, the art was like super cartoony. I didn't see that. Uh, it was issue number two. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. no, I didn't see that. Damn Batman it. Batman number... Batman number 72. This is the variant cover. I thought the variant was awesome. Damn it. What's, what's, that, what's that story called? I forget. I can't remember either. Uh, <laughs> like, only the one issue came out, and I picked it up on a whim. I can't remember what it's called. It's yeah, bugging. issue two came out today. Yeah, it's Kurt Busiek, I think. Batman TMNT number three. The... I forget his name. The variant. It's the Eastman variant. The Eastman variant, yeah. I was talking to Marcos today, and I was like, yeah, that's how much I know about turtles. <laughs> I picked up... True Believers. Amazing. True Believers, Amazing Spider-Man. This is so dope. Cosmic Ghost Rider, I picked up the variant. This is such an awesome variant. The boys, the boys riding on the motorcycles. Just just being boys. Old Man Quill, number six. Do you know who that is on the cover? Look. That? I don't know. I don't know who it is. On old the man, up. old yeah. man Quill. That's old man Quill. Uh, the other no. guy, the guy who's holding him up. Oh, um, uh, I don't know. I don't think yeah. that's been revealed yet. And I was like, is that Bishop? But that's not Bishop. Uh, yeah. uh, War of the Realms. It's such a cool cover. Uh, Savage Avengers, number two, and uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Annual. Which I thought was weird because I thought annuals came out every like, twelve issues, but I guess they don't. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I I never thought of that. I thought they just came out every year. But you, they coming out every twelve issues sounds more right. Oh, maybe somebody can correct me on that. Yeah. But Guardians of the Galaxy Annual Number One. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We got this like. If you like cover this up, we got Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Sweet. All right, from my haul today, I didn't pick up any back issues. I've I'm leaving all that for the hunt. Sorry, guys, you're gonna have to tune in Friday night as I defend my championship. I can't wait to drop it on everybody and still come out hunt champ. It's gonna feel so good, baby. But as Javi did, I pick up that Eastman variant. A Batman Team in T3, issue number two. Super excited to read this. Really, really fun read so far. Uh, as everyone else, War of the Realms, issue number five. I will say I am trying to cut down on my pull a little bit because I'm just running out of space. So I'm trying to do a little more digital reading on certain things. On you know, Try to just collect the things that I'm really, really reading. Everything else go digital. And then here we are. 
Guardians of the Galaxy annual. As you guys, not sure why it's already here, but here we go. We have it. I'm gonna read it. I, I love the team that's you know writing the stories in there, so it should be good. Uh, as Hyde did, I picked up that Immortal Hulk, or not an Immortal Hulk. Sorry, the Incredible Hulk Last Call. It's a one shot. I picked up the variant as well. Thought it was cool. This is an Adam Kubert variant, which is super nice. So. I also picked up Cosmic Ghost Rider issue number four. Super excited to see what's going to be happening in this one. And as Javi did, Old Man Quill issue six. I'm all about the Old Man series and sagas. Old Man, I want more of this universe, man. And I reread Old Man Logan, you know, recently. And just, gosh, I want more of that. Can we see where he took that little baby, you know? I want to know. And then last, I don't, I don't know if you guys remember last week, I told you guys I forgot a book. I'm like, damn, I hope they – well, they did put it back in my box. And Joe Ryan Comics mentioned it earlier, and that was Thor issue 13, this beautiful Alex Ross cover. Ooh. This is just phenomenal. That is. Wow. I was so happy that they pulled this for me. And then last week when I went into my, you know, box and – or my, you know, my – port portfolio in here and it wasn't there i was so disappointed but they remembered me so they put it in my box and sure enough when i came here alex ross is the man there. bro come on tell me that's not a sick cover man that's oh, he is the man like i uh, yeah he's wow that guy's the best and that's one of the best covers i've seen of anything that's beautiful yeah man that's why i showed it last even though it was a book that came out I like how the milkshake uh, yeah bro that's uh, that was my that was my favorite part too. No, I like how it's so tiny. No, and if I had that, I'd just put it on a chain and wear it around everywhere. That's beautiful. Yeah, sick. So that was that. All right, Hyde, what you got going on your channel this week, man? Well, this week, starting Friday, I'm going to be doing another uh, three shows, uh, same shows for uh, the World According to Frank Castle, where I go in on this Punisher hall that I have and. We've been going through Punisher 2099, and that's what I think I'm going to be diving into at least the next two episodes before we give it a break. And yeah, that will be Friday, Sunday, and Tuesday. I had to miss this last week because of illness. I was ill. I am not ill anymore. Well, I am, but I'm fine. And I'll be coming back on Friday hard and strong with the Frank Castle talk to all my Frank Castle heads. And there aren't many, but... We'll be getting you soon. I'm just, yeah. So that's what I got going on for now. Sweet, man. Yeah, more Make Frank Castle talk. Go check out Hyde on his channel. I got to get the link in the description below. Javi, you got anything going on, brother? Uh, I'm still finding some time to uh, do that. D&D. Um, &D. We want to yeah, do D stuff. We, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. But, um, Hide. We're, we're gonna link up soon. I, yeah. I, saw, I saw Tuesdays. Nobody's really nobody's doing stuff Tuesday, so maybe we'll we'll sneak on Tuesdays. Oh yeah, we'll just sneak in like thieves in the night. Yeah. Tuesday thieves. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, man, just hanging out with you guys every Wednesday, talking comics, talking new comics, reviewing comics, uh, and hopefully starting to do this uh, new spec thing. So I'm enjoying it, man. I like it. Sweet, man. Awesome. Awesome. Well, as you guys know, YouTube is 90. You can catch your boy Y290 here tomorrow night as I talk everything Turtles. Review in a half shell. I'll be joined by hopefully Seawitter19, Edwin the Comic Jabroni, or maybe even Hudak Comics and more. I'll be telling you my thoughts on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 94, City at War Part 2. And as you guys know, every Monday night, you can find me on that MCE show, that geek show, as we talk everything in the geek world, followed up hopefully this week by Story Comic Corps. Work has been a little crazy, so I have not been able to get on the Story Comic Corps, but those are our, my brothers, Caleb, the Comics Smurf Murphy, Comic Head 84, Alec White Whale Comics. Make sure you check us out Monday nights as we continue to review Why the Last Man and as you guys know, most importantly, this Friday, for all you stupid idiots out there that don't know that Y290 is the hunt champ and that the hunt is 90, and don't you ever, ever.
never forget it again as I defend my hunt championship this Friday on Tony Sanders' show. And you best believe I'm walking out hunt champ again. And I cannot wait to see all those guys' faces as I'm still reigning hunt champ. So make sure you join me this Friday with Tony Sanders, JD Comics, Jeffrey Comic Con Henson, myself, and White Whale Comics as we go in the squared comic circle and go head to head <laughs> for my hunt championship, which I'm retaining and I can't wait. So make sure you guys are all there. I can't wait to see you guys there in the chat. Thank you guys for joining us here tonight. Hyde, Javi, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. As always, you, Chad. beautiful 90 holics. We'll see you next week. And remember, you guys. go get your books. Peace.